What's up, everybody? I'm Jamie. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Jamie. And alam naman natin na February na naman. For some, you're so excited kasi makakasama na naman ninyo ang mahamahal niyo sa buhay sa araw na, sa buwan na ito. But some, you know, they will just sleep all day on Feb 14 because still they are hurting inside. So, this vlog is for you. Well, alam ko yung iba sa inyo, ayon na ayon yung dumaan ng Feb 14 kasi hanggang ngayon naaalala niyo yung mga bagay at naaalala niyo yung mga panahon o oras at lalo na yung taong na nakit sa inyo. Well, it's so good to be in love but it's also good to be healed inside. And I think this vlog is to help you. So, tips para sa broken hearted. Number one, kung alam mong nasasaktan ka at hanggang ngayon, hindi ka makamove on sa mga bagay at taong nakasakit sa'yo, number one, the best thing is uproot the pain. What do we mean Ate Kinen or Ate Jamie when we say uprooting the pain? Uprooting the pain means what? Hindi mo lang siya basta-bas nang hahayaan. Madalas kasi tayo, yun yung tendency natin, hayaan ko na lang. Sige, hayaan mo na lang. Huwag na lang, hayaan na lang. Hanggang sa tumagal yung panahon, yung wound sa puso mo, hindi naman talaga totoo na tanggal. At hindi naman talaga totoo na heal. So uprooting the pain means what? Pulling out. Literally, you know, removing it in your heart. Literally, moving on. And really asking God, that, Lord, tanggalin mo yung pinaka kaduluduluhan, yung pinaka rason, yung pinaka dulo ng pain sa puso ko. And when you uproot the pain, I tell you, how do we uproot the pain? We can talk to someone that we trust. Of course, yung someone that we trust, make sure that is really helpful to you. You know, someone that mas mataas yung spirituality sa'yo. It could be your pastor, your leader, your mentor, a best friend that is, you know, okay naman ang kanyang mga advices. Best thing also is your parents. Make sure that when you talk to them, you no, know, learn to confess everything. If and as you confess it, you no, know, for sure, iiyak ka, for sure, no, kawala ka. For me, that's good. For you to be to uproot that pain. If crying will ease the pain, then just cry. Para ma-uproot yan, umiyak ka. Diba, wala ka, sumigaw ka. What else? And sabihin mo kung gano'ng kakagalit. Sabihin mo kung ano yung nararamdaman mo. Maging totoo ka. Dahil after uprooting that and confessing that one, there's freedom. But as well as, hindi lang dapat i-uproot, but number two, you forgive. One thing is for sure. If you want to be forgiven, you need to forgive as well. One thing na pinakamaganda as you uproot it, kahit mahirap, kahit hindi madali. Alam ko kung gaano kahirap magpatawan. Pero just remember that someone also forgive you. May isang tao din na Kasala ka sa kanya, pero pinatawad ka. Lalo na si God. Kasala ka sa kanya, pero pinatawad ka niya. What more us? We don't have the right not to forgive. Because tayo lang din naman ay pinatawad ng Diyos. So always remember, number one, you approved it. Number two, you learn to forgive the person. Number three is, never ever take shortcuts. May tendency rin kasi tayo na mag-jump into another relationship. Kala natin to ease the pain para mas maging okay na tayo. Kailangan natin ng someone to, you know, to feel that emptiness in our hearts. But I tell you, once a wounded person is still wounded, wala siyang ibang gamit kundi manakit din. So, anong tendency? Pag nag-jump ka into another person, yung sakit lang na nararamdaman mo ay mapapasa mo sa kanya. So, ang mangyayari niyan, eventually, dom domino effect ang sakit. So for me, okay, do not take shortcuts. Take time to be healed. Alcohol or drugs is not the answer. Okay? The 
Kasi pag uminom ka, sasaktan ka, broken hearted ka. Tapos pag uminom ka, di ba, kinabukasan, ayun lang, nahilo ka lang, nagsuka ka lang. Pero nandun pa rin yung sakit. Mas pinahirapan mo lang yung sarili mo. Never ever take short cuts. Make sure to just, you know, if, if this is your season to be in pain, pagdaanan mo lang. Diba? Huwag kang matakot pagdaanan yung sakit. At huwag mo lang din yan matatakasan. Maganda, ang sakit at ang problema nilalabanan, ino-overcome until one day, pagkising mo, makahal ka na. Next is never ever think about suicide. You know, if we don't own our lives, I tell you, hindi po rason magpakamatay dahil lang nasasaktan ka. Pain is part of your life but it is not the end of life. Remember that we don't own our life. Someone gave you that and that is the Lord. He gives and takes away. And wala kung binigay niya yan sa'yo, wala ka rin karapatang tapusin yan. Let me just give you this illustration. Paano kaya pag pinutol mo yung buhay mo, tapos sumarap ka sa Diyos, tapos pinakita niya sa'yo yung fast track na mangyayari sa buhay mo. Ito na yung mapapakasawa mo, ito dapat yung magiging anak mo, ito dapat yung magiging career mo, ito yung mga taong nagmamahal sa'yo, ito ka after this year, this years and this coming years, only if you don't give up and just hold a little longer. You know, I tell you, being broken is just a season. Being in pain is just a season. Ibig sabihin, malatapos din siya, malalagpasan din siya. Hello! Hindi lang naman yung taong nanakit sa'yo ang tao sa mundo. Maraming pwedeng dumating pa. Marami pang pwedeng magmahal sa'yo. At mas maraming nagmamahal sa'yo ngayon. Okay? And sometimes, alam niyo ba na no, there are closed doors because there are more open doors. Sometimes your greatest no today is your greatest yes in the future. So, akala mo, pagiging broken-hearted lang yan. You know, minsan yan yung door sa'yo ni God para ihatid ka sa God's best mo. So, please, never ever think about the suicide. And the last one is, recover with God. Time alone does not heal. Time with God does heal. So, when you are broken, when you are in pain, don't just recover alone. Kasi hindi mo kakayanin. Hindi mo kaya mag-isa. Because no one is an island. Hindi mo kaya mag-recover mag, 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 mag alone. Only God can do that. And actually, Siya lang talaga ang kaya magpagaling sa iyo. So, make sure when you are in pain, every day, you seek God. How to recover with God? You can somehow look for a church or a community that you know that is, you know, that will help you in your relationship with the Lord. What else? Recover with God uh, by means of what? Be connected with someone na alam mo makakatulong sa spirituality mo. Look for a mentor or a pastor. Next, no? Read the Bible. Open the Bible because pinaka pinaka magandang dir uh, directional book and with a purpose is the word of god so open it read it meditate on it and maniwala ka sa akin malalaman mo ang direction at malalaman mo ang katotohanan ng buhay recover with god by means of what you can also attend a retreat no maraming maraming churches may mga retreats sila that will help you you know approve that pain you know be recover and at the same time be healed that's it guys i think um para sa mga broken heart kong kaibigan ngayon i tell you hindi yan habang buhay and please wag kang pumayag na maging broken hearted ka habang buhay today as you watch this vlog this is i pray this is the end of that pain because you will just decide today
to uproot that pain. Forgive the person. Never ever take shortcuts. Never think about suicide. And last, recover with God. Thank you guys. I hope you are blessed with this vlog. And I hear from you. Please do comment down anything you want to say. Is it helpful? Or comment down the things that you want to hear from me from for our next vlog. And at the same time, don't forget to like and subscribe. And lastly, don't forget to enjoy, honor, and maximize your season. This vlog is for the brokenhearted. Sana po after yung mapanood ito, wala na yung sign. Till the next vlog!